Can you see this? Yeah. Am I on? Yeah. Good morning. This is Bob Pamukkala, Bob and Jane Pamukkala. It is June 8th, 2021, and it's already 80 degrees. So although we have the heating system on, one of the radiators, sets of radiators, isn't going to come on because it's too hot. It's already over 80 degrees in here. But we do have this set on, and this is the kitchen radiators. So I'm going to point the thermometer to it, and you can see that it's 115 degrees for the, for the radiator. So that's working. Then come over here. And this one is also working 115 degrees. If you follow it over, you'll see on the wall, it's only 92 over there. So that radiator, the heat is working. And I thermostat for the kitchen dining room area. Okay. Thermostat for the living room area. It's too hot in here. So I have it up for 85, but it won't come on because it's already 85. Turn around and show him the radiators. And this one over here, Jane. But they're not running because it's too hot. But they would run if it was a little cooler. This is the thermostat for the basement. This is the utility, are we on? Yeah. This is the utility room. This is the heating system for the hot water. And it also does the domestic hot water. And this is the electrical panel. This is where the water comes in. We're on Fire District 4 Municipal Water. This is the bed, one of the bedrooms. This is the radiator for the bedroom. And I'll turn it on and you can see that this one is also on 115. If you follow it up to the wall, you see the wall is only 90 degrees. So the radiator is working. Let's look at the other radiator. Are we on? Yes. This is the radiator for the other bedroom. And you can see that's also on 115 degrees, whereas the wall is only 90, okay? <clears throat> so now let's go up. Let's go in here. The bathroom. This okay. is the downstairs bathroom. Are you on? ready? You're on. This is the washing machine. I'm going to turn it on to normal. So now it's filling. Open it up. But if you open it up too much, it will stop. Yeah. See? Yeah. It's got a... You can hear it fill. And the water is filling. While it's filling, we'll look at the, the sink. All right? Here's soap, and here's the laundry basket. Okay. This is the, the sink. Okay. That's cold water. And you can see that it's 67, 70 degrees. Now we're going to switch it to hot. And you can see it's 104, 105, and it's climbing. So that's the hot water. Here is the shower. Uh, yeah, we have to wait off. on the shower because I don't have a glass to catch it. I don't believe you. It's the same water system. There's the shower head. There's the shower head, and that's the hot. I don't. Maybe I can. Yes, okay, you can see that it's, that it's warm up there, 103. Okay, now I'm going to turn it to cold. And you can see it's cooling down because the cold water is cooling it down. So the hot and the cold works for the shower. This is the toilet. Toilet works. Brand little all this little radiator for the... Uh, for the, for, and that is working too, see 110 degrees. Okay, now yeah, let's go to the- Electric heater. Yeah, but that's, that he doesn't care about that. Okay, see it's got, it's got some water in it now. Okay, and so now we're gonna shut it. We're gonna bring it over to spin, and it will spin it out. So this, this is a brand new washing machine, and it, it uh, all, all of the stuff works good, and we've, we've tried it. It's a little dusty. Yeah. This is the upstairs bathroom. This is the sink here. Hot and cold come in so you can see. So we'll, we'll look at the hot first of all. There's the hot, 105 degrees, and it's going to get a little warmer, especially if I get it on there. 102, 105. 
and right there. Okay, 103, and now we'll turn it on cold. So you can see it's cooling down, so that's the cold. Eventually it'll get cooler than that. Now, the, 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 this, the, the, um, the tub shower, you put it on the hot, and there's the hot, 120. The sink took a, it would eventually get there too, but we didn't let it run long enough. Okay, now we'll swing it over to cold. So you can see 70 degrees, so that's the cold, all right? Now we'll flip it up so that we can see the shower. So there's the shower. So this, this is a tub shower combination. Downstairs we have just a shower, okay? This is the toilet up here. So that works. This little radiator works, but that's tied into the other heating system, uh, which Cabinet. is too hot right now. Toilet paper and soap in there. Okay, that's good, Jane. Sink. Kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. Hot. 103 degrees. Okay. Eventually, get up, get up there to like 120. Now we're going to swing over to cold. You can see it's cooling down there. Eventually, it would get down to 60 degrees if we let it go long enough. So well, that's this kitchen, and you can adjust it. You got this little squirter thing here. Just all this stuff is new. The, the source of this water is uh, Fire District Number Four. It's a uh, system out of Grand Isle. Grand Isle Water System Four. So it's all tested and everything. It's considered town water. Okay. Over here is the you wanted the. Uh, the burner's on. There they are. You can see this is the hotter. kitchen stove. They're hotter than hell. That's night. That is. That's 900 degrees, and that they're all the same. Okay, so we're now turning them off. Mother, that's hot. Woo. We have an electric stove. Okay. And the the oven, same deal. Very hot. It's already at 450 degrees. We're going to turn that off now. Man, huh? This is a microwave above the stove. Boy, that's hot. Isn't that hot? I wouldn't have put it on that hot. Yeah. I shouldn't have left it on, on that While hot. he's doing that, I'll show you the cabinets in the kitchen. We have dishes and pots and pans. There's a screen on the kitchen window there. Uh, kitchen clock. And here's more pots and pans. I don't know if you can see them. A dishwasher. Just shoot, shoot in here. This is the refrigerator. This is the uh, uh, freezer. You can see it's made ice. And it is. 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now, all right? Now, the refrigerator part with the light on, you can see that that is 40 degrees and 40 degrees, but I think it's just about ready to come down to make it colder yeah. because I know it'll get colder. 37 or something. Yeah, well anyway, that's, that's on. Okay, good. So now let's look at our list, okay? Uh, right here on the counter, you notice we have two first aid kits. They're brand new. A large one for one floor and then the small one for the other floor. Plus on the farm, uh, we also have kits and stuff too for when they're working. Well, you're here showing the screens. Yeah, I showed them the screen. And these screens. And these windows have screens in them, nice breeze coming And the front in. door has a screen. Bob's at the front door, which has okay. a screen. All the lights are on. I'm going to show them the kitchen table right here with six chairs. And the lights. Uh, looking up, we have all the lights on so you can see that they work. 
We picked out ones that all match. We were very happy with the lights. So these are all the kitchen and dining room lights. Smoke detectors. And I'll do a close-up for you of the smoke detector. In the, and there's one in here. This is the one that's in the dining room. One here in the living room. And another one in the living room now. We'll show them the bedrooms when we get down there. And you saw the couches and stuff there. Okay, turn it off for now. Okay. Coming down the stairs so we can show you the drying rack and things near the laundry room. But as you go by, you'll see that this screen, uh, this window has screens on this one too, on the first floor. So nice cross ventilation. And this is a laundry rack for drying, drying rack clothes. For clothes. And you still smoke have the washing machine going. The bedrooms. Now we're going to do a close up of the smoke detector in one of the bedrooms. Okay, and the next one. Right there. And traveling into here. Here is the other smoke detector. And one here for the central location. And then in the sort of family room downstairs, there's another smoke detector outside the utility room. Okay, step back. We're testing it. And that was a test of one of the smoke alarms. And they're they're wired, wired to each other. It'll do that one more time. Three chirps. We're not through, we're not through with the test yet. And that, that should be it. Okay, so that is that's Upstairs is doing yeah, it. Okay. We're done now. Okay. There's the back door to the house. And uh let's stop, shut it off for now. Okay, this is one of the bedrooms downstairs. This is the, the brand new bed, brand new sheets and pillows and pillowcases and uh, covers and quilts, bedrooms, bedside table, bureaus, closet all around here closets two foot wide the bedroom is nine and a half feet wide <clears throat> ten feet long seven foot four inches high each bedroom has two windows with screens and one of them is an emergency egress window in case something terrible should happen so this is one bedroom now we're going to the other bedroom Similar paint job on the bureaus and uh, blue sheets on this one and a quilt and, and uh, all made up. There's a screen in the egress window, little bedside table and lamp, another window here and the closet. Unfinished, but I will finish the closet. You gotta just put a shelf. Each, yeah. this bedroom again, just like the other one, it's a mirror image, nine and a half feet long. 10 feet wide, two foot closets, and then the entrance door. Now I'm going to show you electrical outlets in the bedrooms. There is, why isn't that on video? There it is. There's one for this little lamp. That one. And there's one here that doesn't have anything plugged in. And then in the same bedroom, here's another outlet that makes three. And there's another one right there. And, and there's one behind the bed too. One, four behind the bed. Well, there's one in behind the front of the bed, but you don't okay. have to see it. The head no. of the bed has Come one behind the next it. Bedroom. So five in there. In the other bedroom. Same me... deal. Same thing. One okay. there. Okay. One. Why am I having trouble finding it? One, two. Found one. There's an outlet. Three. And this wall four, and then behind the right. the bed and one against here. the wall. One there too. Oh yeah, and one here for the little lamp. There's an outlet, and they're all working. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm on the first floor, the one with the um, one room. of the bathrooms and the and the utility room and the bedrooms, and I'm showing you a picture of a brand new fire extinguisher that's on 
the basement or first floor. Show them that it's by the utility room. Just bring and the pan up. It's right by the utility okay, room seven here. Now. now this is panning the uh, basement room by the back door, showing you that all the lights are on there. They're recessed into the uh, uh, hanging ceiling. And the ceiling. And now you can see the lights on in the stairway coming upstairs. Now we're upstairs again in the dining room and I'm showing you the other fire extinguisher. So we have one uh, large one on each floor. Pan back so we can see where it is. It's in the, it's in the dining room area. Just bring your thing back so we can see it by the front door in the dining room. Again, there's okay. the fire extinguisher. Right by the front door in the dining room. Okay, good. So I'm now standing on the front porch and looking out off the railing of the lawn here. And that's basically the front of the house. And I think you already had a still photo of the house. I'm inside the downstairs room looking out at the backyard. So that's a view from inside the house at the trees and the grass out there. And here's the side of the house at the back and the backyard again. Okay, we're back in the kitchen because I want to show you what's built into the cabinets here. Of course, here's silverware and that kind of thing. But uh, if you look here in this corner, we have three garbage pails. One can be for recycling and there's three in there. One, two, three. So they're really nice way to to hide away the garbage, but I'm shutting those three garbage pails that spin together in the Lazy Susan. So that's how that works. We have to adjust it. Very we'll nice, adjust it. very nice system. So that's in one of the cupboards in the kitchen. We're out on the porch and I want to show you a fourth garbage can. This one has a lid on it and a liner bag and it's quite large. So our dump is open on Thursdays and Saturdays, so we're all set for the men for that.